don't think he expected to contact other balls like that. That being so, it's just as well that he potted that red. <coughs> Mark Sowey. Among Maguire's victims in the Masters was Neil Robertson. Well, number one, beat him 6-2, but was himself beaten 6-2 by Ronnie O'Sullivan in the semi-finals. Defensive safety looks okay. Close but not in. Seven. Seems to be a very good chance, this. 
The red's widely spread. Eight. I can tell you that Neil Robertson has beaten Matthew Stevens 3-1. 13. Twenty-seven, touching ball. Twenty-eight. <coughs> Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-eight. Brian Day and Tom Ford have just started on the other table, or at least they attempted to start, but... <coughs> Forty-nine. After a, a minute and ten seconds, there's been a re-rack. Fifty-four. Consistency is the hallmark of Selby's game. He gets a good chance. Very rare. 55. But he fails to take full advantage of it. Sixty-one. Well, an inopportune spotting of the pink. Altered Selby, oh, Selby in his 61. tracks just before he reached the winning post. Selby knows it's far from impossible that uh, Maguire could clear up here. Nine. Although there is one awkwardly situated red.
16. Twenty-five. Pink was only just off straight. Thirty-one. So it was a big shot to get the cue ball right behind the red. Take it down the rail to the corner. Out of vision, both players exchanged a word, I believe, about how the cue ball was reacting. Stephen Maguire, 31. It was all right in the first match. Anyway, Maguire forced into a safety on 31. Still 31 behind. Didn't intend to send the red into the yellow. One. That was still a very good pot though from Maguire. And by taking the brown can snatch the frame. Five. Uh, we'll need to go the scenic route to get from yellow to green. Bit too hard. Didn't want to leave the cue ball under the side cushion. Very good pot from there. Ten. Also needs Good positional shot from brown to blue. No, it was tough. It was tough. Stephen Maguire, 10. was frame ball for Selby. And we'll be relieved to see the brown run safe.
thumping kick off the brown. Not that it made any difference. But the snooker behind the black might. Foul and a miss. Stephen McGrath, four. <coughs> okay. Stephen. So, chance for Maguire to clear up to take the opening frame. Four. Quite as straightforward as it would be if the black was on its spot. Nine. So more positional precision required for the final ball. Fifteen. And so, first frame. Steve, Steve Maguire, Maguire takes the opening frame on the black. Not easy at that distance. Six. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. 
15. Twenty one. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Thirty two, thirty three. Thirty-eight. Not perfect. Far from it. Mark Selby. Thirty-eight. Forced into a safety, in fact. Good return to Bork, that. That was quite tricky. Let's put the black safe. And the pink is also safe. Maguire trapped into an error.
coming to the table, 38 in front. It is feasible that he could clinch the frame with reds and blues. <coughs> The top players, Selby included, are very good at playing that three cushion in and out of Borg shot without cannoning a colour. Thirteen. A bit more angle this time, so he may play the straight up and down. Eighteen. Mark Selby. Eighteen. Quite tricky, that one. Didn't have the full opening of the pocket to go at. And uh, it was a cross and against the nap of the cloth. came to the table with a 56 point deficit which was a big one with pink and black safe four may have attempted to develop the pink there by just clipping it from behind while retaining position on the red but didn't manage to do it Well, Steve McGuire, four. <coughs> Mark Selby, seven. He was concentrating so much on the cannon there that he got about the pot. Didn't even show a profit from that visit. Improving the position of two of the remaining reds. One. That was a very good long pot though from Selby. It was actually frame ball that puts him 60 in front. Only 59 on the table. Four. Ten. 
knew that he would be on this red, tried to develop the other. Eleven. Again played Cannon on the second red. <clears throat> Fourteen. Fifteen. Nineteen. Nineteen and the frame. Mark Selby. So Mark Selby wins the second frame in emphatic fashion to level the match at one all. Ding Junhui, China's number one winner of three ranking events has availability issues and also doesn't want to overplay so he's not in the field either so I'll be expected to pot that red to right corner but missed it by such a margin that he cannoned another red and is thus Left this rest shot for Maguire. One. Very good. Standard of rest play amongst the top players is so good these days. Great champions of yesteryear would get into all sorts of contortions. Six. To avoid using the rest. Notably, John Spencer. Seven. Who was three times world champion. And uh, multi world champions before that Joe Davis and his brother Fred. Neither of those. Great players could be described as great rest players. Thirteen. Twenty-nine. Perfect split. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Forty-eight. 
42. Not quite such a good cannon on the bunch that time, but Maguire does have a red to far corner. Fifty one. Back red in the bunch goes. Still looks as if this may develop into a frame winning break. Stephen Maguire. 51. Well, spoke too soon, and uh, largely because Maguire was forced into that three-cushion positional shot because he couldn't hold for the back red. One. The pink, however, has run safe. Mark Selby, one. But Selby overcuts the black. One. <coughs> that was nicely done. He's not sorry to see the black run safe. Six. Because uh, pink and black out of commission. Seven. It would be very much more difficult for Selby to clear up from behind if indeed he gets a chance. Twelve. Thirteen. Already though, Maguire sixty-three in front with blue to come. And only fifty-one points available for sale. Thirteen and the frame. Stephen Maguire. Not <coughs> worth battling on. Maguire leads by two frames to one. At least a 50-50 chance that that sort of long red will run safe if it's attempted. Slack safety from Selby.
precise self de pre precise self de safety from Maguire getting Selby directly uh, uh. behind the green but no great danger because Pack was so tightly bunched From last year's Championship League, Maguire earned £24,600 without winning a group. He played in several, but didn't win one. tournament may feel slightly odd in that there are no spectators so the players tend to look at it seriously but also as paid practice in a way because what would they be doing if they weren't doing this they'd be practicing furiously in their home club Over the years, Maguire had the great advantage of practicing a great deal with Stephen Hendry and John Higgins. Learned a lot from them. Well, good job that that uh, cue ball stayed out because otherwise <laughs> there would have been a feasible red from the D. <coughs> one. Ryan Day has just taken a 2-1 lead over Tom Ford, making a break of 107 in the third frame. Eleven. The highest spot available for the black is the brown. <coughs> Twelve. There wasn't much of a gap to get through there. Selby wasn't able to get the cue ball through it. Mark Selby. Twelve.
One. Good shot. Enter the table from tight on the rail. Could have been luckier with his position. <laughs> Having a good look to see whether he can reach the potting angle on the yellow. Yellow ball. Stephen Maguire. He what? couldn't, so contented himself with a near snooker. to get that because there was a strong possibility that if he didn't he would leave another red Fourteen. Twenty one. Twenty two. Is this where Maguire closes out the match? It could be. Thirty five. Thirty 
36. Sixty-three. Intended, I believe, to leave this red to a bulk pocket. Steve McGuire, sixty-three frame and the match. But uh, I don't. he had done enough. He was fifty-two in front with only forty-three left. So Stephen McGuire beats Mark Selby by three frames to one.